Okay, so let's talk about this idea of propositions. Um, it's going to be really important in the course, especially in the second half of the course, when we talk about formal methods of evaluating arguments. We'll actually focus there on what's called propositional logic, and it's called propositional logic because it centers on this idea of propositions. Um, but I think it's good to bring it up now, as Lavin does, and take a first pass at it. Um, and I think Lavin does a pretty good job explaining what propositions are. I'm not crazy about his treatment of the rhetoric versus reason distinction. I think he should say more. Propositions he does a pretty good job with, so I'm not going to spend a r super long time on this. I do think it's good to run through it one more time, you know, multiple passes at something never hurt. And I also want to say something about a kind of pitfall people run into with this distinction that Lavin doesn't really talk about. As Lavin says, a proposition is a statement that can be true or false. So here are some propositions. I don't think Lavin uses any of these. These are my own, right? He has a bunch of examples. You can look at his two. Here are just some that I just basically came up out of the top of my head randomly, right? Um, two is an even number. Dogs are mammals. Virginia Beach is a city in North Carolina. Kanye West is president of the U.S. The current number of hairs on my head is an odd number. Human beings are not the only intelligent life in the universe. Now look, these statements can be true or false, right? First two are obviously true if you know anything about numbers and know anything about mammals. Two is even, it's like pretty much the definition of an even number, right? Dogs are mammals, dogs are mammals, right? The next two are false. You know, Virginia Beach is not a city in North Carolina, right? I mean, it would be, be really, really weird if a city called Virginia Beach was a city in North Carolina, but we also all know it isn't because many of you live there, those of us who don't live near it, right? I mean, it wouldn't be impossible, right? Kansas City is a city in Missouri, which is very odd, but Virginia Beach is not a city in North Carolina. This is a false proposition. Kanye West is not president of the U.S. This one is also false. Look at 5 and 6, right? It's not clear whether 5 and 6 are true or false. Current number of hairs on my head is an odd number. You know, an odd number is a number that's not, you know, divisible by 2. Half the numbers are odd. Half of them are even. Basically a 50-50 chance whether the number of hairs on my head as I'm talking is odd, but we don't know and we never will know because nobody is going to count the specific numbers of hairs on my head at this particular moment. It would be almost pretty much impossible to do even if somebody wanted to, right? This is a statement that can be true or false. It is true or false. We'll never know which it is though, right? Human beings are not the only intelligent life in the universe. We don't know whether this is true or false, right? You know, we, we might have a pretty strong view on this one way or the other, but we don't know. But the important thing is it could be and in fact is true or false, right? There either are intelligent aliens or there aren't whether we know that for sure or not. Not propositions, you know, commands, please open the door declarations. You know, you might picture the mayor saying, I officially declare this Homer Simpson day, right? You know, insults. You idiot, right? You know, if someone was saying this to make, say the proposition, you are an idiot, that might be a proposition, right? But that's not what they're doing. They're just clearly insulting or abusing somebody because it's just an insult or abuse. It's not a proposition. You know, if someone, you know, use a better example if someone said, you know, F U, that's not a proposition, that's just an insult, right? What state is Mount Aryan is a question, that's not a proposition. Now, I think this is pretty simple, right? You know, or, you know, but one thing that trips people up that Lavin doesn't talk about is 
that the pro you know people often confuse the proposition not proposition distinction with the supposed fact opinion distinction now look I say supposed because I, you know every high school English teacher drills this distinction into your head like there's just this black or white fact or opinion I think the actual world is a lot more complicated but you know whatever I'm not gonna go off on a tangent about that what I will say is that the proposition not a proposition distinction even if you think fact opinion is a good distinction which I really don't it's not the same distinction as proposition not a proposition your high school English teacher at least I think mine certainly would would certainly say this the statement John Lennon was not a very nice person is an opinion whether it is or it isn't it's also clearly a proposition right some people want to say well propositions are facts not propositions or opinions that's just not the way this works even if you think John Lennon was not a very nice person it's just an opinion it's also a proposition well, why is that because it can be a true or false and think of it this way right you can give evidence for or against the claim John Lennon wasn't very nice you know if I think he wasn't very nice and, and I actually do tend to think he wasn't a very nice person I like the Beatles okay I just think John Lennon was kind of a jerk um, you know you might say well look the guy like hit his wife in public he hit his wife not only did he hit his wife he punched her in public right pretty good evidence not a nice person right you know he abandoned his first son and never really had much of anything to do with him pretty good evidence you're not a nice person right you can give evidence against you know him being you know a not nice person you say well you know he was always really nice to his fans he would always sign autographs it's evidence that he wasn't such a bad guy I tend to think the evidence he was kind of a bad guy kind of outweighs it but whatever and think about it this way you know we might debate whether John Lennon was a nice person or not whether that's true or false there are some other very similar statements we would all very clearly accept as true or false um, it would be a rare person who said Hitler was not a very nice person is false right we would all agree that it is true Hitler is not or was not a very nice person right that is a true statement it's a proposition it can be true or false and it is true right you know I guess there's some less agreement on who definitely is a nice person you know but you know Mr. Rogers the children's show host strikes me like most of us would agree he is a nice person right now we might never be able to agree whether John Lennon was not a very nice person is true or false but that doesn't mean it can't be true or false right we might never be able to agree we might never know whether there's intelligent life in the universe besides human beings I mean you know it could be out there so far that we never see it even if we never find it it doesn't mean it doesn't exist we will probably unless we discover aliens we will never know for sure whether there's intelligent life or not and we might never discover them but just because we don't know whether the statement is true or false does not mean that it is not true or false there either are or aren't aliens whether we know it or not right all right so hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody I just have students who really want to insist you know that these distinctions are the same so but they're not propositions you know a lot of statements that are very clearly propositions are also statements your high school English teacher would be like well that's an opinion I don't like that distinction for reasons I'll probably get into as the course goes on but you know even if you do like it they don't slice up things in the same way fact opinion proposition not a proposition another important thing to keep in mind with propositions is that one sentence can assert multiple propositions in fact they often do now let's keep in mind our pet statement our sentence from a few lectures ago you should buy solar panels because they will save you money and they're good for the environment 
one sentence, there are actually three different propositions here, right? Installing solar panels will save you money or something like that. Installing solar panels is good for the environment. And finally, you should buy them, right? This sentence makes three different claims that can be true or false. You know, it's an argument. The first two propositions are supposed to support the third, but there, you know, the important thing for now is there are three propositions in this sentence.